Hi, I'm Shirley Willingentz, and I'm U of L's provost. A U of L degree is one of the most valuable things you'll ever have, and as provost, it's my job to be sure that all the people you work with and all the opportunities you'll have here to learn, both in and out of the classroom, are the best that you'll find anywhere. Most of you know that in college, you'll choose a major. The major will teach you how to think critically, deeply, and allow you to develop factual knowledge that will make you an expert in a certain field. Some of you may have already decided on a field you want to study. Engineering or nursing, teaching, history, business, art, communication, or biology, for example. Some of you may not know yet, and that's fine. Lots of people don't know and even those who think they do often change their minds. That's one of the reasons why some of you may take courses in your major your first year, but all of you will take an array of courses in the liberal arts and sciences. At U of L, we refer to these courses in the liberal arts and sciences as general education or gen ed. You'll have a lot of choices about which gen ed courses to take, but they will include coursework in four distinct areas, arts and humanities, natural science and mathematics, oral and written communication, and social and behavioral sciences. The learning that you do in each of these areas develops specific competencies to think critically from different points of view, to analyze different kinds of information, to make and judge arguments and then communicate effectively, and to understand cultural diversity and strengthen our ability to value and relate to people. These are skills that are absolutely essential in the 21st century. And by exploring the ways different disciplines seek to answer these questions, you will discover that not all subject areas emphasize the same approach to understanding issues. Some may focus on individual or cultural factors. Some may emphasize social or biological factors. Some may focus on religious, philosophical, or psychological factors. And you may well discover that many questions, like why human beings do what they do, have as many answers as there are disciplines. Your general education program will bring you into the multidisciplinary conversations on questions like these and will prepare you to evaluate new answers in college and beyond. The university has created the Ideas to Action Plan to ensure that you begin in your general education program to develop high-level critical thinking skills. These skills are developed further in your major. Then, near the end of your degree program, you'll apply these skills to solve a real-world problem. I invite you now to begin your journey and see how each of the general education categories will give you these skills. I wish you great success as you begin the adventure of shaping your education and your future.